Hello my diamond painting friends, this is Susan and I am back with another preparation video. I am working on preparing my next custom that I'm going to be working on, which is the one of my husband when he was in high school. Um, I got them all sorted out by color. I've got the labels already done for the numbers and I will be using a craft made stockables for it. This one has 34 colors. Um, so I got some colors that's going to take more than one. I hope I can get all of them in here. Um, that's my goal anyway, so we'll see. Um, I did want to show you what my progress is so far on the seasons tree. I've got um, this portion done and then just a little bit of that portion done. I didn't realize when I did this portion that I was working upside down, but oh well. So that's what I got done on that so far. That's just two days worth. And I have for sorry my phone's ringing for a conversation piece. I have um, I have some more get to know me questions. These are still from the first batch that I did that I pulled from the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and. Um, Go through these um, as I'm working along. So um, this is from Ever Moment. I um, received it on the fourth, and I'm hoping to um, it's probably be like my weekend projects, my project that I work on. Um, so, but I'm hoping to start it this weekend, get it done by July for his birthday is what my goal is so um if you find this video boring please let me know um if I get enough people that don't like to watch them I'll I just won't do them I don't want to bore anybody with my videos so um but we are going to go with the first color which is 154 and then we'll just go with the first question first question is do you have a best friend and if so who well, it may seem a little cliche, but my best friend is my husband. So he is um, the one I turn to when I have um, for anything. So he's my sounding board. He's my um, shoulder to cry on. He's my he's my best friend. So. Number two, do you believe ignorance is bliss? Mm, I don't think so because I think that the more we know, the better off we'll be. Um, I just don't think it's worth it to keep people in the dark, things like that. That might not be exactly what the question is asking, but that's how I'm going to proceed with it. So. I know some of these is going to take just a couple of containers, so that's okay. I should hopefully have enough. I got 56, 56 containers in each one, so we'll see. Okay, that one's good. Go ahead and close that one. And I'm only going to label the first one. And I'll know that if there's any skipping, it just goes with the one previous. Um, number three, do you believe in love at first sight? Um, I used to, probably when I was younger and too naive to know better. Um, now I think that um, you have to get to know somebody before that love can grow. Um, or else it's just, it's not real in my opinion. So maybe in in fairy tales and fantasy land where elves and fairies live, I might be love at first sight, but I don't think I don't believe in it. So um, who performs the most random acts of kindness out of everyone you know? Oh um, gosh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, pro 
possibly my sister. Um, my oldest sister, she she's tried her best at keeping the family together after my mom passed. I think that says a lot. Because my family isn't easy to get along with. So she probably her probably her biggest random act of kindness is that she she tries her best to make sure that the family stays together. So. Uh, who sent the last text message you received? My husband. Husband <laughs> is the answer for a lot of questions, isn't he? Um, just asking me to let him know when I got home from work. So, uh, who was the last person you ate dinner with? My husband and my son. We had dinner last night. It's too early to have dinner tonight. So, my son made dinner. He's trying out new recipes and stuff, so... Alright, that was just 154. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get 317 in here. Let's see. That was, I don't even know how many bags that was. But 317 has 18,461 beads in the picture. So I can imagine how many um, diamonds I've got over there. So I might have to take a whole row just for those. Um, if not more. So... Um, who was your first boyfriend slash girlfriend? Um, the first one I can remember was probably in the seventh grade. His name was Jerry, and he lived down the road from me. Uh, who was your first celebrity crush? Mm, let's see. Um, from when I can remember, I think that my first celebrity crush, I'm going to show my age, was um, Corey Feldman. Corey. The Corys. I like them both. Um, <laughs> I was hugely into The Lost Boys when that movie came out, and I just fell in love with both of the Corys, so, yeah, I'd have to say them. Uh, who was your first friend in college? Well, that one's easy. I didn't go to college, so next question. Uh... Who would you tell first if you found a dead body in your garden? Oh, if my husband wasn't around, I'd probably call the police. Um, because the last thing I'd want is for to wait on that and them thinking that I did it. <laughs> so, oh my god, what was that last? Okay, yeah. So, yeah. If my husband's not around, definitely call the police first. Uh... What is your idea of special time together? My idea of special time is, um, I'm a homebody, so I enjoy just, um, being at home, um, watching some TV, just being with, with him, so. What is your most embarrassing moment? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I'm going to let you all in on the secret. Don't laugh at me too hard. When I was in the third grade, I was in the spelling bee. I won the spelling bee, so I, I went to, like, the school's... I won, like, the class version, the grade version of the spelling bee. Um, so I was in the... Um, 
the school's version of the Bumblebee, the Bumblebee, of the Spelling Bee um, Championship. And I, um, my parents were there, my sisters were there. Um, and my word was that I had to spell. I made it a couple of rounds in. And my word that I had to spell was potato. I cannot believe I just did that. There just went all those three tens. Oh, goodness. The ones on the floor is just going to stay on the floor. I'll get them later. It's not like I am in danger of running out of three tens. Um, so I was up there and I was pronouncing it in my mind, trying to figure out how to spell it. Mind you, I was eight years old at the time. And while I was spelling it in my head, trying to spell it out, I was saying it out loud. So, needless to say, the letters in my head was coming out of my mouth. So I basically spelled potato, P-O-T-A-T-O-T-O. T O T O. I don't remember how many times I said T O. I just know that it was a lot. More than what was really needed. So, yeah. That is my most embarrassing moment ever. My mom and dad never let me live that down. Probably why it stuck with me so long. But that's okay. The three tens are really, really static. See, they're jumping. They're jumping, jumping. Okay, next question. What is your most used swear word? Uh, I really don't swear that much. I'm not trying to say that like to be goody-goody or anything. But... If I had to say, I guess that the one I use the most is the F-bomb. Although I try to not use it that much. Okay. your star sign I am a Virgo my birthday is September the 12th um, I don't like my birthday being where it is I used to but I don't anymore but at least I'm glad it's not my brother so. Seriously? Oh, you're so uncoordinated. Look, I captured one on the floor. Uh, what 
is something that amazes you. <sighs> the fact that I get up every morning. That amazes me. I know it sounds weird and everything, but it is. So. What is an ideal first date for you? date me and my husband had the um the first actual date that we had that wasn't like a lunch date or anything we went to see a couple of movies um first time i went and saw the green mile was with him oh these are staticky too so i guess just a dinner, movie, talking, getting to know each other. That says a lot. So. Yeah, these are jumping, jumping, jumping through. at the top of your bucket list. Um, top of my bucket list is to go, is to travel to a foreign country, I think. I've already done one of my big bucket list items. Um, when I went to a live raw show a couple years ago. Um, and I'm going to do another one of my bucket lists in August when I go see the Backstreet Boys in concert. Um, so I guess that the top one is probably going to um, Greece or Italy. Um, that's where I would like to go. I think that Greece is some place that... Um, no, Greece is someplace I want to go. Italy is someplace my husband wants to go. Um, so. Oh my god, these are so static. -y. over here. Uh, what is something you look for in a partner? Um, honesty, humor, um, can I get along with them? Um, are we compatible? Do we have anything in common? Um, for the most part, me and my husband have a lot in common. We like the same music about 99% of the time. some like gang unstoppables in here. Um, what is the name of your first pet? Uh, I don't remember. It's been so long. Um, I don't even remember what my first pet was that was actually just mine. Um, Maybe my cats, I guess. Um, I really 
other pet we seem to have just always seem to belong to a different member of the family. So, I guess my cats would be my first one. So, it would be, what, Padfoot, Bobby, Shadow, and Bandit. So, I think I talked about them before. What scares you about aging? Um, not being able to do what I love to do. Being hindered. Being alone. I guess that would have to be a big one. <sighs> These drills are going to be the death of me. The first ones came out really, really good. These are all staticky. How difficult is it for you to be honest even when your words may be hurtful or unpopular? Difficult for me. I don't like to hurt anybody. So there's a lot of times that I kind of keep my mouth shut when I shouldn't. Because I always seem to have a knack for offending people. Easily. My problem is that it's like seriously falling off of here. How difficult is it for you to forgive someone who refuses to apologize? This would probably be a case of my sister who is a year younger than I am. She, um, in her opinion, she is never wrong about anything. So, and everything she does is right. And doesn't matter what you say, she's never going to be wrong. She never apologizes for anything. So, I haven't really talked to her since Christmas. Um, she expects us to bend over backwards for her kids. Um, but she don't really care about everybody else's kids, or at least mine. So it's hard to, it's hard to kind of be the bigger person in that case, which I know is bordering on ridiculous. So. Is that to think I'm the one that's got the static cling? <laughs> Maybe it's me that's got static -y.
think this was a bad idea. Bad time to record. I should have grabbed my... I don't even want to venture a guess as to how many is on the core right now. good with these questions. I'm sorry. See, these aren't that bad. Okay, I just pulled one from this pack. Don't go back into it. Um, how far away is the birthplace do you live now? Um, I live in Gentry, Arkansas. I was born in Oklahoma City. So I would probably say at least a good four or five hundred miles away. Um, so quite a ways. It's not a quick jaunt. <laughs> so... It will have to take some planning to go. Well, not really planning, but a desire to want to go, I should say. Okay, I'm going to call it good on this one. And put the sticker on and get the next one out. How has your birth order characteristics of siblings affected you? <sighs> Even though I am the second born, my two younger sisters think they can lord over me. They always have. Just because I wasn't the type to ever really stand up for myself. Um, I always thought that they were better than me. Um, and I made sure that I knew it. Which is awful for me to say. But I kind of always felt kind of lost in the shuffle. I don't know if a lot of second-borns feel that way. But hard. So I wasn't the oldest. My sister that's a year younger than me thought she was the smartest. Um, and my younger sister, of course, is the youngest, so... She always seemed to get away with a bunch of stuff. hoping I'll be able to get all these in here and it won't take up too many of them. I just don't want to have to use any baggies for anything. 
See, the bigger bags, there's not that much that it cling. I don't understand that. Boyfriends, girlfriends, have you had? Not very many. I didn't go out much in high school. I had a nasty rumor spread about me, so guys kind of stayed away from me. And then with the whole thing with my leg and everything, it just kind of made it worse. So I can probably count less than 10 how many I've had. Even as an adult, I didn't have very many. I think I'll be okay, even if it takes 10 of these. countries have you been to? One. Just one. Never been out of the U.S. That I know of. So. Yeah. So. Uh, how many oceans have you swum in? None. <laughs> These are pretty easy questions. Uh, how many pairs of shoes do you currently own? Uh, two. <laughs> I own two. And one of them is pretty wore out. So I don't wear them unless I am walking right away or something. So. It's kind of hard to find a pair of shoes when you... Especially women's shoes. And your feet aren't even the same size. I have to buy a bigger size to accommodate the left foot and the right foot, like, doesn't fit right, so it's like, hmm, all right. Uh, how many relationships have you been in? Uh, I've already kind of answered that one. How many rings before you answer the phone? Um, depends on if it's house phone, I never answer the house phone just because I don't want to talk to telemarketers and I have to have the line just for to have DSL. Um, on my cell phone, if I know who it is, I, um, I answer it almost immediately. If I don't know who it is, I ignore it. Um, if it's important and they need me to call them, they'll leave a message. So... How many tattoos do you have? None. My husband's not big on tattoos. Um, I like to watch tattoo shows. I mean, one of my favorite shows is Ink Master. Um, but I don't have any tattoos. Um, how old do you think you'll be when you get married? Well, all right. Next. How old were you when you found out that Santa wasn't real? I don't remember. Probably pretty young. <sighs> More static. Okay. Um, how old were you when you 
learn how to ride a bike. I don't know. Probably eight, I guess. I don't know. Never been a big bike rider. I had a very boring childhood. I really, really did. So. You know what? I'd like to revise that one question about my first celebrity crush. I think my first celebrity crush was Mark Hamill, a.k.a. Luke Skywalker. That makes more sense. So, uh, what store would you choose to max out your credit card? Uh, the AliExpress account? <laughs> um, get diamond paintings. Get all the diamond paintings. No, I don't know. I try not to max out my credit cards. Who needs to be in a world of debt, right? Um, Would you ever consider living abroad? Hmm. Probably not. No, I'm like USA born and bred. Um, so I'd want to stay here. I may want to visit other countries, but I don't want to live in other countries. How many days could you last in solitary confinement? Probably oh, quite a few. Um, especially if I had something to do, like read or dying pain or something. Um, I wouldn't want to be because then I would want my husband. So. <sighs> That's my finger. more of these bags. So. Uh, have you forgiven yourself for past personal failures? Um, no. I'm hard on myself, so I never forgive myself for anything that I've done or should have done or would have done but didn't do. I'm still beating myself up for not being there when my mom passed. Um, so. I'm very hard on myself. I like this channel. Right now I've got 46 subscribers and I really think that that's quite a milestone. And even if I never get any more than that, I consider that a huge success. Just because I waffled so long about whether or not I was going to do this channel. Um, so. But yeah, it's hard for me to forgive myself for things in the past. things that I'm not proud of myself for. So. <sighs> Have you ever suffered a fracture? Yes. 
about four years ago, I broke my right ankle. Um, we're tripping over a rock outside. But I believe that was the only thing. The only time I'd ever broken anything. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have a lot of drills to put in my little vase that I'm keeping on my spares that I find on the floor, that's falling on the floor, that ends up in the wrong bag. I'll have to show that to y'all sometime. Jumping out of the container over here. Look in here, hitting the floor. Oh, my goodness, every moment gives you plenty of extras. Stay. 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 One more. Close this one. Uh, have you ever dated two people at a time? No. No. Never wanted to, never would have had the opportunity to, so no. decide to do this in my bedroom. My husband might have like not liked me very much. All these jewels popping up all over the place. Seriously, I can hear them hitting the floor. It's crazy. little bags of 318. Uh, have you ever been on a motorbike? Yes, I've been on a motorcycle. I've wrecked on a motorcycle. Um, so, end of that story. Um, have you ever been in a beauty pageant? No. I am not good enough to be in a beauty pageant. So, no. Uh, have you ever taken self-defense lessons? Nope. Have you ever visited a country outside your continent? Nope. Have you ever won a trophy or award? Um, I won um, student of the month one time. <laughs> Does that count? Um, um, Have you read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games, or Twilight series? Which one is your favorite? Well, 
I can attest that I've read all three of them. And I can attest that my favorite is Harry Potter. Um, followed by Hunger Games, followed by Twilight. I do like the Twilight books. I do like the Twilight movies. So, if you don't like that, oh well. Um, uh, see, those are not staticky at all. Those went in just great. At what age did you go on your first date? Uh, I was probably 15 or 16. Um, I think that's getting soft Beetlejuice. Um, after a breakup, would you rather be alone or be surrounded by friends? Probably alone. That's because I don't have any. Um, But as long as I'm not sitting in bed, bawling my eyes out, I'll be okay. But I haven't had a breakup in so long that I probably wouldn't even know how to react. So. Uh. Which female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Uh, probably Jennifer Lawrence. It's because I think she's really cool. I like Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, what flavor of tea do you enjoy? Uh, right now, all I drink is unsweetened black tea with a little bit of stevia in it. Um, about that is there <laughs> so uh, what is a strange occurrence you've experienced but have never or rarely shared with anyone um i saw a ghost one time in my old house um i had thought it was my daughter um, getting up because it was it, I saw her right in front of my daughter's bedroom wearing a nightgown that was eerily similar to one my daughter was wearing but she doesn't remember it so yeah one thing you'd rather pay someone to do than do yourself probably clean I don't like to clean <laughs> I cleaned a lot when I was younger I was kind of like eh, I'm over it um, but I do it anyway that needs to be done Uh, is the first amusement park you've been to? Uh, I've not been to amusement park. Um, so. Oh no, I take it back. I went to Sildar City. Um, is that considered an amusement park? Huh, I want to say it is. Um, Couple years after my dad passed away to um, see the Christmas lights with my mom um, went with his parent my husband's parents and I've actually got a big huge 
custom done from every moment of a picture that was taken of my husband or of my children and the moms my husband's pulling in so I am going to end this and um, pick it up um, later so I'll catch you later hi um, welcome back um, I know it's only been just a couple of seconds for you but it's been the rest of the evening for me it's now almost three o'clock in the morning and um, I went ahead and finished um, setting this kit this um, dining painting up um, as you can see I used almost all the containers but this is all of my um, drills for the custom um, did have to use a lot of multiples 154 317 used quite a few as you know, already know um, 3371 used a few um, so I am going to do some um, drill with me with this one um, hopefully starting this weekend so you can see my progress on that and um, once again there is the um, sorry about the movement um, there's the one that I'll be working on with this so um, I also wanted to show you my base that I'm using to keep my um, spare ones the ones that have fallen out when I find ones I find on the floor um, so <laughs> you see there's not very many um, but this is actually a um, a wedding balls I found at um, Walmart I just loved so um, that is where I'll be keeping my spare drills and things so um, I am going to film um, something a little bit radical um, starting probably when I get home from work today I um, I won't explain it right now. I'll let, wait till I start filming, but it's, I might be out of my mind, and you all might think I'm out of my mind, but we'll see how it goes. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to show you the finished um, setup, and um, so um, I hope you all have a good evening, and um, I will talk to you later. Um, if subscribe. If you haven't already, um, thumbs up if you like it. Um, so I will see you later. Bye.